Welcome back to Funston TV. Today I'm sharing with you a tutorial based on this look. This is my Korean inspired beauty look. It's very youthful and glowy and luminous. It's super simple. If you want to find out how to achieve this look, just keep on watching. Today we're talking all about Korean beauty look and I'm starting off with a fresh face because the basics of Korean makeup or anything is just to have very fresh and healthy looking skin and that's what we're going to try to achieve and amplify with makeup so we want to achieve really glowing natural beautiful youthful looking skin which is the total opposite of what we try to achieve here in Canada and in the States here it's all about matte skin and matte eyes and heavy contour and heavy eyes but for Korean beauty standards you want to go very emphasized luminosity of the skin go very lightly on the eyes and go with the brighter lips so let me talk you through the steps so we can get started. So to achieve that really luminous glow, you want to go in and use a BB cream. I know Korean beauty and Asian skincare have a lot, a lot of different BB creams to choose from. But here, we don't have as many. I'm going to use the Clinique Perfecting BB Cream in the shade 02. This is slightly lighter than what I am right now. So we're really going to be able to achieve that um, pale skin kind of look so I'm just going to dot a bit on my skin and we'll blend everything out. You can use your fingers for this entire makeup almost which is really easy. Make sure your hands are clean before you do this. BB cream is really going to allow you to get that luminosity and that dewiness to your skin. Unlike foundation, it's really light. It's going to still allow your natural skin to peek through, but the finish is really luminous. So if you're not into this, then this is not for you, but this is definitely a look that's popular in Korea and in Asia. It's funny how girls always want what they don't have. I'm naturally super pale and I always want to look as dark as I can. Okay, so you can just keep applying this with your hands, but I'm going to just help the blending process with a dampened beauty blender. This is just going to add a bit of moisture to your makeup and make it adhere to your skin really well. So just dab everywhere with this. Now it looks super pale. I'm actually going to go in with a moisturizing concealer to cover up some blemishes and then we're going to go in with highlighter. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm in the shade Sand. And I'm just going to dot that under the eyes, a bit on the forehead and on the chin to balance it out, as well as any blemishes you want to cover up. Again, you can blend this in with your fingers. So this concealer is really, really good concealer because it's super affordable, it's creamy, yet it blends in super well. So now that my skin is concealed, we're actually going in layers. I'm going to go in with a highlighter. The highlighter I really like from the drugstore is either the Maybelline Age Rewind, and you can get this in the brighter shade. It has a pink undertone, so it's really going to help brighten your under eyes or any area you want to brighten. See, it has a pink undertone. You just twist it and you can dab a bit right where you want to highlight, right there. So the tops of the cheekbones you really want to highlight. I also really like the Maybelline Dream Lumi, the illuminating pencil. And again, you just twist this up and you can highlight under there. So I'm just going to blend this away. So these, as you can see, are really the same shade. So either of these two will work really well. So if you want to kick it up a notch and make it really luminous and really radiant, I suggest going in with a liquid highlighter that has a lot of shimmer in it. I really like the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is available at Sephora, but I'm also going to list below a drugstore option, and it's the Maybelline Lumi Highlighter. It's available in a white undertone, a golden undertone, and a pink undertone. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and then we're likely going to dab it on areas where you want to highlight. So I'm going to tap that on tops of the cheekbones, 
a bit on the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, and on the chin. And then I'm blending this one out with a beauty blender. So as you can see, it really brings that luminosity and healthiness to the skin, but it's not overly done. Like it's not like those powder shimmering skin protectors where it really adds a little something but this is just very subtle. So you can go really heavy with the highlighter, especially if you have dry skin, because this is just gonna create the illusion that your skin is super luminous and going from within. So my skin is super highlighted. We're just gonna comb through the brows and we're really not gonna draw them harsh at all. So just comb your brows so all your hairs are sticking in one direction. And then we're just gonna go in and fill them in with powder. If you already have a good shape to your brows, you can totally skip this step, but I have almost no brow hair, so I'm gonna use a Maybelline dual pencil and the powdery end and I'm just gonna slightly dab some powder in the eyebrows and try to draw them straight because Korean beauty trends tend to have really useful looking straighter brows so that's what we're trying to mimic don't overdraw the arch of your brow and just try to draw them as straight as possible So now to get back on the face, I'm going to use sort of a gel blush. This is from Josie Maran. It's a coconut watercolor cheek jelly. And this is super moisturizing. It's coconut water based, so you really get that, again, that youthful doingness to the skin. If you want something more affordable, I think Maybelline has a really good cushiony one. I'll list down below and I'll also insert a picture to help you, but just tap your fingers in that pot. You can dab off the excess on the back of your hand to smile so you find the apples of your cheeks and slightly dab it on there. You can also go really heavy on the blush because the focus of this look is really skin. So we want your cheeks to pop and look really youthful and glowy. And any gel based or cream based blush will work really well for the cheeks. I also really like this product from Tarte, if you're for something more on the high, high end side. This is a miniature version of it, it's the Tarte Cheek Stain. It has like a stick, it's multi-purpose, you can use this on cheeks, on lips, whatever you like, but I like this color better, I think it's looking more fun for summer. Okay, so now that cheeks and pretty much everything is done. For the eyes, we're not doing much at all. If you absolutely want something on the eyes, I would suggest you apply a cream colored base before and this from the drugstore is really good it's Maybelline color tattoo metal and this is in the shade 70 barely branded it's a really pretty champagne colored cream shadow so just again we're using our fingers you're just going to apply a light layer all over the lid because we want everything to look fresh and beautiful and useful and effortless just dab a whole layer of that on your eyelid and then you can leave it at that to have everything on the creamier side but if you want to top it with something and change the color of it at all L'Oreal, the color infallible, they have great colors you can dab a bit of this blue color on top of the champagne and it's going to make it look like a light blue color all over the lid um, you can use something like Urban Decay Thin Eyeshadow, again it's a beautiful champagne color that you can dab all over the lid on top of the cream shadow or you can use steal a kitten this is one of my favorites ever it's super pigmented it's super super creamy so you can dab that on but today i'm going to be using makeup geek afterglow pigment so this is a loose pigment so it can be a bit hard to apply i'm just putting a bit on my finger and dabbing that all over the lid on top of that cream shadow and that cream shadow is really going to help it last and stick in place just dab that on and that's about everything we're doing for eyes except we're gonna curl our lashes and apply some mascara if you already have really beautiful lashes you're gonna be good to go basically but my lashes need a lot of help so I'm gonna apply a pair of false lashes and be right back again my favorite drugstore mascara is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black it's the only thing that makes my lashes stay up just the slightest bit so I'm just curling my lashes as usual and what's important to note on this look, we're not going to put anything on the lower lash line. Like I said again, if you have lashes, then you can totally skip this step, but I don't have lashes. So just for the sake of showing you how this look would actually look like, um, I put some false lashes on. These are the 
Ardell false lashes in the style 124. I think they look super natural and they're really nice and fluffy, so I love these. Okay, now that my lashes on, let me take you over the last step, which is lips. For lips, you want to use a lip stain. I have two options for you from the drugstore, and obviously there's a lot from Sephora. Josie Maron has a great one. You can obviously use this stain if you want on the lips, or this on the lips, and you're good to go. From the drugstore, the ones I really like are the Revlon Just Bitten. There's a stick stain on one end and the other end is sort of like a moisturizing balm so they go perfectly well together this color is more of a fall color so I'm not going to use this one today I'm going to go in with the Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain it's a really bright pink lip because Koreans just love a bright lip and bright cheeks so that's what I'm going for just apply a light layer of that and concentrate it on the center of your lip So you see you have that like kind of a gradient effect because I focus it on the center of the lid. Just dab it off so it blends in really well. And then you could leave it at this, but uh, you could also top it off with a bit of a gloss. I love these NYX butter glosses and also this would work really well. It's Maybelline Baby Lips. Just get a clear colored one and go over the edges of the stain you just put on to make that ombre effect really more prominent and make your lips look just a bit more glossy. I'm just gonna add a bit more on the cheeks. And there you go, this is the finished look. If you have oily skin like I do, I would set the T-zone and any center areas with some powder, but make sure that if you're going for this dewy, glowy look, you don't powder too much or else all this dewy voluminousness is going to go away. I'm just going to stay like this for the sake of it. But for dry skin or even normal skin, this would be perfect. It's going to look very luminous, very beautiful, and very radiant, useful, all that good stuff. Very Korean. So yeah, this brings my tutorial to an end. I hope you enjoyed this video. <clears throat> Please thumbs up if you liked it and let me know down below what you would like to see next. I hope you're having a great one and I'll see you soon. Bye. it up a notch and make it really do okay so to continue on the f I'm sh whoops that's what that likes yep <laughs> wait for